What's up guys, it's Let's Jeep here, and today I'm installing a new front bumper on my Jeep, and the bumper is from Metal Cloak. It's their modular front bumper, so you can add on to it as you wish, and customize it however you want. Um, so, basically what I did was, I got the base, obviously, and then I got high and long end caps, which pair with the high toe points, and then I got also a light bar mount for about 10 inch light bars. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, um, if you don't know how to remove your stock bumper, it's pretty simple on a TJ. Not sure about other Jeeps, but uh, on a TJ, all it has is the two bolts up top and then there's one on the bottom right under it and then the same on the other side um, but for the metal cloak bumper we also have to undo the sway bar mounts on the front so that we can because the, the uh, bumper actually goes under it and we also have to install these adapters because if you don't then the sway bar mounts will be uneven and it's not that great. So first off it's recommended that you install any parts uh, onto the bumper that will be hard to install while it's on the Jeep. So first off I'm going to go ahead and install the light bar mount and everything else should be pretty easy to put on while it's on the Jeep so let me get started with that alrighty now I've got the, the light bar mount in place so next before we put the bumper on the frame we have to put these uh, sway bar brackets on real fast and I think I found the easiest way to do it is that the bolt on the inside of the frame of the sway bar mount is uh, a little hard to get to or at least I thought it was anyway and so you are able to put in the bumper if it's not all the way uh, if the bolts not all the way out so what I'm gonna do is stick the brackets under the sway bar mounts and just slide it under before I put the uh, before I put the bumper on and that will allow me to do things a little bit easier without having to worry about without having to worry about taking out that that bolt back there because it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I got those in, and so that just makes sure it's all level. And now we can actually put in the big piece of the bumper. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. Right. Okie dokie, so I got the bumper on the frame. Now I just need to line up the holes with the, the bracket, and I'm going to tighten the front ones first. And then I'm gonna push the. Uh, well, I'm just gonna tighten the front ones first, and I'll tighten the back ones, and we should be good to go for the rest of the install. Alrighty. Now I've got all those tight, all four of these bolts tightened down on the sway bar. Now we can deal with the two end caps and the high toe points. They will all be installed at the same time as well as being connected to the factory bumper mounts at the same time. So let's go ahead and get that started. Alright guys, I had to get a light because it's getting a little dark. Uh, so that's why the lighting is a lot different. Um, but let's go ahead and get these end caps installed. So there's, like I said, there's a, uh, it uses the factory, this is the part that will use the factory uh, bolt mounts. Two on top and two on the bottom. 
So, what we do is we put the end caps in and we get the high toe points nudged in there right where they need to be then hopefully we got them lined up and then we can just tie them down and uh, there's also one right on the bottom and after putting the ends on, this is the finished product of the pieces that I was able to buy. Um, I think in the future I might get a stinger that goes out in front because I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice looking bumper. And I really like that you can upgrade it as you see fit, and it's just pretty nice. Good job, Metal Cloak. So that's it for this video.